we plan on doing right now is playing it as much as a game-like situation as possible. There's so much situational practice right now, uh, putting them in different situations that we're going to run into on Saturday. So now we'd like to see them just all. Uh, no coaches on the field. Uh, you know, everybody uh, playing down in distance and situation really in the execute and so, uh, execute our offense and our defense based on the you know, situation. It's going fine. I, I, you know, everyone's different. Um, I'm, I'm mostly on defense. I don't, I don't deal with the offense a lot. It's, uh, but we have a great room defensively. Uh, with Coach Lolly, Coach Big, and Coach Root. We, I, that's we, we feel I feel good in that room. Everyone enjoys each other, so that's been a great room. And um, it, it, you know, the telltale of any great staff, and I, I, I'll keep telling you over and over, is that. You find out how good a staff is when things get bad. And, uh, you know, when you come back from a tough loss, and, uh, you know, that's the time you find out. And that's like, that's anything, it's just like any household or anything in, in life. When things get tough, we'll see how tight you are. You know, he's uncannily, you know, shifting, you know, for, for a guy with 230 pounds. He has some quick feet. And he reminds me a little bit of Gary Brown. Like with Gary Houston, running back uh, for the Orioles. And he's got quicker feet than you, than you would think a big man would have. And uh, he's a low man. He's 230 pounds, and he's not easy to, easy to tackle. As, um, as uh, McNeil, Mike McNeil, he doesn't tackle the most. Murder. <laughs> I've really taken it slow there. And uh, he, he won't go at all Saturday as of right now. And they've kind of left it up to us. Because we communicate with the trainers and the doctors every day in this situation. Uh, I let Aaron get certain drills, and I'm sure he could do more, but it's like, why at this point? You know, I don't want to push him to the point, push him backwards. Uh, what he did has been remarkable. I mean, he has worked at it. Uh, the strength is back a lot. It's not where it needs to be. Uh, his range of motion looks really good. And if you notice, I'll back him off the receivers a lot. I'm letting him play off coverage, some man-to-man -man stuff, but I'm not putting him up there pressing right now because I know he's going to compete. He's going to bust his tail. And uh, the thing is, when one of those guys make those quick moves on him, I'm just scared that he, he's not going to want to you know, take it easy on him. That quick movement scares me right at this point. Uh, as I see him develop, though, I'm going to, I will get to pressing him. Some on maybe some of the younger receivers, it's not quite much to make them real quick moves. I'm going to kind of get that started a little bit, probably in a week or two. I don't know who's happening. Um, Caleb, hey, I want to race so bad. Yeah, but you know, we'll one day we'll have to find out. You know, he's like lightning. We should see him out there today. <laughs> I was kind of surprised, like, I mean, we've all been on and off, just, I guess, just lately. I've been doing well, but, I mean, all the kickers out there, we all, we're doing good. We try to encourage each other, so. When you took that year off, was there a time you thought you'd never try again, or did you always have the back of your mind? I always had in the back of my mind. I was going to keep trying until I made the team, and then I made the team, I was, I was very excited, but, yeah, I, ne I never thought I would not play again. Um, I'm still wearing the yellow shoes. Uh, that was kind of funny. It just my cleats broke on me. They're thirty dollar buy because I don't have much money right now. So and that's, they're just lasting me until I need to get a new pair. He's, I mean, he's he's unbelievable. I mean, he knows more than anybody I've ever talked to, and uh, he really cares about, you know, not just, hey, I'll just go out there and kick. He, 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 he watches video of us, I don't know how many hours, but it seems like a lot of day, and he pinpoints on what we need to do, this, that, and the other. He, yeah, he's unbelievable. I mean, he's, he's a great kid. Uh, at first it was, um, but, you know, I, it, just, it, brought, it was a, a time to step out of the spotlight and just work on your, your, your technique and, and work on your own. Um, you're, you're punting, you know, by yourself, uh, and uh, it really, it really, I think, helped me a little bit. Um, realized that I needed to work on some technique issues, and uh, uh, I think I've gotten better since then. So.